all right, Troops, what's happening? Fucking was at my class today, man. It was a good shift. I woke up one of the day ones, didn't know whether to go or no. But um, I fucking went and I felt like I made a wee, wee, wee tiny bit of progress today. Um, so I was quite, I was quite pleased that I went. Um, it's a good place to go and I really enjoy it. But well, I'm forty one. Fuck you, cow. And it's, and it's like your body type it's like they're getting all these tools but there's only some tools I think that would work to my body type I mean there's guys that are just so agile and bendy and flexible like I'm not one of these guys you know what I mean um, I'm about as flexible as a fucking brick <coughs> but it's what you it's what you take for it innit um, but as I say I really enjoy it and it keeps me active and Mixing with decent people as well, you know what I mean? Um, like, there's no one there, there's no, what, what kind of, it's not what, this kind of macho culture where everybody's trying to choke everybody else out to be the top man or whatever, which I kind of wondered if that's what it was going to be like, but nothing like that. Dead good, very good place, uh, but it's a good wee day anyway, but, um, <clears throat> I wanted to tell a funny story the day, right? When I was like thinking about shit. And um it involves me like back when I was a YO, right? because uh, like years ago Balani had like a bit where they put young offenders, it was D Hall lo the lower part, cause um don't know if any is know this, if you haven't been in prison, but Berlini, when you'll see inside it, it's just all opened up, right? And there's all these landings that just look like they're going for miles. A lot of racket, fucking banging, shouting, keys jangling, mad smells, everything, right? Um, but D-Hall was um, refurbished, I think it was about 2000, maybe 99. Um, so what they done was... They, they refurbished it so it was like two separate sections so you could walk in go that way or go that way and there's only two landings but then you go up the stair and it's the same up above so it's no all opened up right so the bottom bit it was called D lower north D lower south I'm sure um, and I had been in there when I go recalled and when I finished my recall no for those of you that don't know um if anybody does know so I got a four year prison sentence when I was 15 right and that was I got remanded at the end of 1997 and was released in October 2000 right um and I had picked up a couple of added days for fighting in prison which they used to give you back then it was called ADAs added days awarded so basically if you were in the jail right and you get into a square go and you get caught you go to the orderly room which is like a court a kangaroo court I'd fucking call it right because <laughs> probably 99.9% .9 conviction rate know what I mean fucking assholes but anyway uh, aye, so you could get days added on to your sentence. So say you were out on the 6th of October, you get days added on, you could put in the fucking 6th of November, know what I mean? Uh, one of the ones. But, um, <clears throat> and I got a, a civil charge indictment as well, so I had a bit of time added on. And I was meant to go out in July 2000, but got out in October, right? So... I was out until, um, I was out until, like, um, when was it? Summer of 2001, right? And I was just running about crazy in that whole time, even though I was out in license, like, I was a different person, like, I was fucking 18, 19, just no giving a fuck. And, um, I got recalled in June 2000 for a stabbing, right? So... I got recalled for that, and that gives the, I had like eight months or something left in my, my recall, and that would give them enough time to, it would get me off the street, obviously, right? <clears throat> but 
February 2002 had came by, right? Which was when I was due. And fucking... They came into my cell one night and says, you're at Coatlamora. And I'm like, what? Fucking hell, man. Like, <laughs> went down and I had like four days left before I was getting out. Something like that. Can't remember. And uh, what happened was they took me to Glasgow Sheriff and I was fucking there all day, man. They, you're down there for nine o'clock in the morning. This is for the YOs, right? <clears throat> and I was the only YO Faye Pullman that day who was at Glasgow Sheriff. It was f that's I think that's our first because there's usually bus loads for our cunts going down here, know what I mean? So I'm sitting in a fucking cell, man, just pure gutted, mate, and they've come out and hurt me with this indictment at six o'clock at night. I was there for nine in the morning, locked up all day, know what I mean? Can't even fucking, see, you don't even get a window or nothing. And uh, came out and hurt me with this indictment, four serious assaults on this one indictment. It was a gang fight, right? Um, I think uh, somebody got stabbed and somebody got their arm broke, but... Um, it was, I was part of this fight at the time, so, um, what happened was, they charged us with it, and then on the day I was supposed to get out, I got a thing called a gate arrest, which is basically, if you're due on a certain day, the police are there to take you to fucking, I get took to ID parades and all that, so, uh, what happened was, I get took to Berlini, young offenders, right, until, the 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 seven day remand thing was up because I'd served a bit in Pullman because they took me down for Pullman so technically I was I wasn't in Berlin for a full seven days it was a couple of days right before I get took back to court so when you got to court for Berlin it's like going through a fucking airport right it's like an airport cunts gone here cunts gone there but they're all got to courts so it's no airports you're got to you know or fucking sunny destinations you know what I mean and um gets put so we gets put in the the cells right and you're packed for those of you who haven't been in Glasgow Sheriff see when you're on a petition which is like there's some reason petitions if you're in court some reason the one you want to be in for right because you're probably most likely to fucking get back out but when you're in on petition it's usually for like violence drugs serious stuff um and these are all packed in like fucking sardines, right? There's six guys to a, a cell, and you're pure like this, right? Pure packed in like sardines. And um, it's it's just a big long corridor. We say there's 20 cells, six guys to a cell, right? This, this cell's probably weird than your fucking toilet, man. It's like a cupboard. There's no windy. It stinks a pish. It's just fucking... It's just no good, right? But I was a lie -o. I was just like, didn't really know any better, know what I mean? Thought it was all part of the fun. And um, we're sitting there, and there's this guy for uh, Black Cow, right? His name was uh, Alco McDonald, Alan McDonald, his name was, right? He's uh, Blink's brother, Blink McDonald's brother, right? I think it's his wee brother, he's like, fuck knows. But anyway. <coughs> We were all just sitting talking and all that, right? And, uh, <clears throat> like, just what you in for all that shit. And I seen his, his, his charge papers, well, he was done with drugs, right? Drug, getting caught with drugs. And, um, <clears throat> I think he'd held his cell in. I think he said he'd held his cell in half the street, right? Now, anybody knows... Anybody getting done with drugs, in fact, probably him they got to jail, most people got to jail would take stuff with them, right? Um, if they had the, the chance to date, because it's as good as money in there, you're, it would be like, getting into jail with drugs is like, being out here with money, it's the same, it's, that's, money's useless in there, unless it's on your account. But I mean, as paper money in your home in there is literally useless, like you probably couldn't do nothing with it, well, you couldn't do nothing with it, could you do it, fuck's sake, know what I mean, you can't spend it, you get rubbed, you're fucked, don't you, you get fucked up for that, half uh, the screws, it'd be like, how'd you get this? But, um, <clears throat> these cunts in the next cell must have knew him, right, and they're like, what's happening, you, you hoarding all that? 
he's like he's getting up he's getting shouted up to the bars because it's the bars right he's getting shouted up to the bars every fucking like 10 minutes or something and there was this guy in the next cell what what it sounded like he knew him or knew of him anyway and uh the the cunt was just trying to find out if he was holding he wasn't being aggressive about it he was just uh try to as we say like go to work on him like try to see if he's got it you know what i mean like fucking because when people in the jail get parcels like i've seen a lot of people it's what we call go to the hurry up with them it's like <clears throat> trying to assert themselves so that they get what they want but obviously there's cunts that just you could never do that to don't really want to say any of their names but they're heavy players know what i mean you wouldn't fucking no cunt would talk to them like that know what i mean but um we were all sitting right and fucking he, he, he was like I, I was like i need a smoke i need a smoke not but i don't smoke anyway and see when you're, you're in these cells with somebody who smokes it's fucking brutal and you can't turn around and say here put that out because somebody told me to do that and i smoked mate it's a fight straight away and it you can't be fucked with all that and end of the day we're all in there for we're all in half the streets probably one of the small pleasures that somebody gets in it but anyway uh could hear them whispering in the, in the next cell, right? And, eh, uh, that alcohol's done that. Yeah, any of you's got a smoke? And then all I've heard, they know the guy who he was talking to, sounded like a younger guy done that, I put your horn out. See, as soon as he said that, I was like, I would not be putting my horn out there. So, <clears throat> alcohol's put his horn out the bars to try and, like, reach run. Because it's just like, it's, it's a straight line. You could put your arm out and see if you just stretch your arm right out. You could take something off the guy in the next cell if he had something to pass to you. So um, he stuck his horn out and fucking... Uh, <laughs> next thing he's fucking... Just pure, like, hang me back. Ah! Ah, you fucking bombs! Right, right away I know what the cunt's done. He's put a fag out in his fucking horn, hasn't he? And he's fucking screaming, man. But nobody's even reacting to it. No cunt's going, fuck up, you daft there. Let's see, like, even saying anything back to him. And then, he, and then Alco shouted, You fucking bams, you think I'm a bam? You no blink McDonald and Paul Ferris? And then all oh, you've heard this whole corridor erupting, right? And heavy laughter, like an insane asylum. And it makes me laugh even thinking about it because, like, see, even shouting that, that's just... Even if you didn't know any cunt like that, you would you would just never you would never find out. I would just be trying to find out who was in that cell, find out every cunt's name in that cell, and then find out here yeah, who was that. Know what I mean? <laughs> As you would. But um, it was fucking the this whole corridor's just buckled right, and there's six cunts in every Peter. So imagine how loud this was, and uh, I'm just sitting there like that. No way, man. Did, how did he fall for that? Not I mean, fuck it. You, for black golf. Well, I'm not saying it's for, it's not as if he was for fucking a first offender for fucking Mulgay or Bell's Den or fucking somewhere. I don't know. Like, not I mean, you would have expected him to have fucking seen that coming. Not I mean, or maybe he just wanted a fag that much. I don't know, but um. It was fucking, it was mental, right? But see, when the laughter stopped, oh, I've heard some cunt going, Paul Ferris! See, like, pure heavy as if heavy gum for him. And I was just sitting there like, oh, man, how the fuck did you fall for that, mate? It was fucking, it was too funny. But see, the funny thing is, I ended up getting bail and getting out for the, for the court. I swear to God, man, I could, I could, I, that's the first time I'd ever, ever been let out for a court. It was fucking... Uh, it was it felt like it wasn't happening and see then I remember so this was like two thousand and two so that, that book, The Ferris Conspiracy, that came out run about then. So and I remember it was always in the papers all the time. See like serialised like like a couple of pages of it and they're putting it together. So this would have been back when all this was kinda a thing, know what I mean? Maybe there'll be people who are a lot younger that maybe no remember all this, but um what a fucking, what a giggle that was, man, honestly, like, pff, sitting thinking about that, you know what I mean, yesterday, but, eh, uh, I got out for court that day, man, 
Uh, and I couldn't fucking wait to go on that, go on the bus up the road, mate. Honestly, it was fucking, it was madness. But, uh, aye, that was that. But i never seen him in the jail after that. Uh, I've never met Blink either, but uh, I, I'd i seen fucking... <clears throat> I, think, yeah, I think that alcohol ended up getting a sentence for that, for the drugs and that, but... Um, uh, maybe I should have came across with some cunt, know what I mean? Fucking phew, madness, but if you don't know the cunt, like, who are you? Know what I mean? So, got to think it that way, but... Heavy surprise don't fall for that, to be honest with you. But, um, <clears throat> I maybe jump on later and do a video about... I seen a good thing, but not a good thing, but something that I want to talk about anyway. It was in the papers about fucking, uh, it was about tasers getting introduced <laughs> in the jails down south. So <laughs> watch this space on it. But uh, I'm got to got to go and uh, if I bounce on later tonight, I'll you can tune into that. So. <laughs> wee funny story man, you had to be there but probably doesn't sound funny when I'm telling it but trust me it was funny if you were there man honestly, <laughs> see you take care right catches.